Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Beauty Break with Bentley video. And we are gonna be doing a concealer showdown. We're gonna be testing my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer with the Creamy Tarte Shape Tape, the new one. Um, the only thing is the colors are not that close. But we're still going to be able to see, hopefully, enough to tell which one we like better. Because you guys know that the Pat McGrath is my favorite. So, but I always used to use Tarte. And I, when we tested this up against the other Tarte, I really liked it. So we're going to see which one's better. Because maybe I'm crazy, right? <laughs> maybe this one's not as good. So I am basically going to use everything that I'm taking with so me. So anyways, let's get started. But I am sweating. That's why, what made me start saying that I don't have anything on my face so we're gonna start off I'm gonna use my um, Dermablend CC cream and I think I said I put CeraVe under it last time because it was a little bit dry so we're gonna do that I'm not gonna do the TikTok method because I don't want to take all that stuff with me and we're basically testing out how little I can get away with taking anyways we're gonna use the derma blend and I'm gonna mix some of my NYX mixer in which I can't find this anymore well I did find it on eBay no not on eBay on Amazon but it was really expensive way more than I ever paid for it so I didn't list it but you might look there was one an elf one too but I couldn't find it it's like they discontinued it they must have been like a super hot thing for a while and now they're not so I haven't found one yet I mean I'm sure they're out there but I haven't found a drugstore one that you know I can recommend anyways I'm gonna mix some just because the colors I have of my derma blend are too light pull it down my neck a little and then I'm gonna go in with a sponge because I got way too much on I look like a theater makeup very thick all right, I'm going to go in with my sponge. Tone this down just a little. Blend it out. Blend it into my hairline. I use that twisty motion so that it picks some of it up. If I didn't want it to pick up that, I would just daub it a, much, a lot lighter. But since I'm, since I put too much on, and I don't want it to move all around. I am using that twisty motion to pick some up. Okay, let's go in with our concealer. I am going to put the, I'm gonna put the Pat McGrath on this side because this is the one I normally use. So this is the one I'm gonna start with. And it seems like I always do this eye first. And I'm going to use it on my nose, too, just because I already know I love this one. And then I'm going to go in with this guy. Probably should shake it up. I haven't used it in a while. On, and this is the creamy. Oh, this one is in the color light sand. That's what color the um, tart is, the shape tape. And this color is L3. But as you can see, not the same color. This one's got a lot more yellow to it. That's fine. It's not that far off. All right. Take my sponge and I'm going to use one side on this I and then I'll turn it over for the other one. Blend it out nicely. Oh, 
All right, now I'm gonna turn it from that to over this side, to the clean side, blend this one out. And then I'm gonna give you my initial quick opinion. I can tell you right now, this side's, the, the Pat McGrath is giving me more coverage. I can just tell by the way it's blending out, especially like on top of my lids, this one's got better coverage than this one. Not much, you know, just a little. But you can see, see how, like you can see more on this side. I did two lines on this side though. Maybe it's got just more. So, I definitely think there's more coverage to this eye. I'm gonna zoom in a little and let you guys see. Okay, for looking in the mirror, just right here, I haven't reviewed the footage yet, I think the Pat McGrath has better coverage. But that's just like this without any um, powder or anything on it. Okay, so now that's what I think. I think that I like the Pat McGrath better still than the Shape Tape Creamy. The Shape Tape Creamy's good though, don't get me wrong. I just like the Pat McGrath better. So let's go in and finish this makeup so I can see what I'm taking with me. Cause I really wanna take minimal. So let's go ahead and powder. Okay, now I'm gonna take my brush and spread that powder out. Just get everything set in place. And I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown, of course, with me to California. All right, let's go in with some blush. We're gonna use our Dallas. And this is that mini one that I just bought to have for travel. I haven't used it yet. I thought, you know what? We're going to use only the stuff we're taking. I think I'm going to use this for my um, shadow instead of my bronzer. I'm just going to use this because this is kind of a bronzer blush combination thing. Maybe I'll use my Bobbi Brown. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah. We just won't use the Dallas for our shadow. It's just not dark enough. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight. And I'm going to be using my um, dandelion, my little travel dandelion. I am going to use a brush because my fingernails are too long. I just really love doing this. I just really feel like I don't need to buy eyeshadow anymore. I'm good with my bronzer and my highlight. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush, go to the inner corner. Brighten that up. Then I'm gonna take the same pencil brush into the Bobbi Brown. 
and put it underneath about a third of the way out. Now, what I am going to do is take this. This is a, and I can't link this because it's old, 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 old. But all you need to do is find a, the only reason I'm taking this is because it's a tiny little black shadow. And this one I got at the health food store a million years ago. But it's just natural black eyeshadow. And it's not a cream, it's a powder, it's just old. And I'm going to put a little of this on. So that if I go... You know, if we do something that needs eyeshadow, I mean liner, I've got it. And then I'm not even going to wet it or anything. I'm just going to put a little on this Sharpie thing and I'm just going to put it right on the lash line. I really just want to darken up that lash line, especially the inner part where I don't put my fake lashes just to make them connect. Just like that. And then when I get to the outer corner, I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of a wing to lift that outer corner a bit. I mean, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to leave it kind of smoky. In fact, I might even go in and smoke it some more with this smudgy brush just because I don't want it to be, I really don't want it to be much of anything. Just like that. Now, for the brows, I'm going to take my Cabrow because I used it the other day and I love it again. All right, so I'm just going to go in with my Cabrow. and finish off this look i think i want to get i think they have one this is a number two and i think it's like top i think i want to try their lighter one although i'm not sure because my eyebrow color is not light well except the glow in the dark white ones those are light but we don't like those so we're not going to talk about them you know what i forgot to put highlight on everywhere else i put it on my eyes well we're going to do that right now all right Kind of messed up that eyelash, didn't I? Kind of. Okay, I think we're done. We're going to put on some lips. Mm, I think we're going to put Laneige. This stuff on, which is the lip mask. Because I like it. And it's so hot. I feel like I need it. All right, that's it. We're done. What do you think? Is this a good look for California? Because that's what I'm taking. Everything I just did, and I'm taking the Pat McGrath. Because I decided that it is still my favorite. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you think, well, what you think. Um, if you think it's the Pat McGrath or the Shape Tape. Which one you think is better. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. 
I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video when I get back. Stay cool.